Hey y'all, hey, how's it going? Welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is Sasha. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back my loyal royals, so good to see you. To all my new subscribers, welcome to the family, my loyal royals, welcome, welcome, welcome. So good to see y'all. Please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Please make sure that you do give me a thumbs up, hit that like button. Make sure you share my video, share my channel, get me into the algorithm, show me some support y'all. Go and follow me on Twitter at DragonPink07. I'm active on Twitter as well as I do respond to comments. The few comments I do get here as well on my videos. So again, please make sure that you do subscribe. Please make sure that you leave me a like comment and share my video and go follow me on Twitter at DragonPink07. So for this particular video, this video is actually a special request and this one is going to be sort of like a special request when it comes to small YouTubers. I myself am a small YouTuber. I am still growing my channel. I am nowhere near where the big peeps are, nowhere near there. but. I am slowly growing my channel as well as helping out other YouTubers as well, other small YouTubers. I heavily, heavily promote my channel on my Twitter, again, DragonPink07. I do heavily promote on there and as well as help other smaller YouTubers out too. So please, if you know of small YouTubers, please go and help them out. It does take a lot of effort as well as just a lot of time to put in as far as getting a channel together and trying to find the right niche as well as to grow the communities. So please help out our small YouTubers. Help me out. Again, please subscribe to my channel. Please share my channel, share my videos, go leave me some comments. And it kind of gets it into the algorithm so that way YouTube knows that you like what you see. So with that being said, I have some tips of things I've been told, things that I've read when I was doing my research before making my channel, as well as things that I've kind of like learned. It's a very small list, but a lot of uh, YouTubers do repeat the same thing. So I'm probably going to repeat things that other YouTubers have said, but it's just kind of like, you know, just to keep it going as well as we got to help each other out because everybody has to start somewhere. So as far as, um, my tips. So this is what I've got for you. So first things first, pick yourself a topic. Pick your topic. If you are like how I started with a wide range of things, having a generalized topic is not the best because sometimes everybody will watch like a split second, lose interest and move on to the next thing. If it's one thing I've learned is that people literally just, they bounce around they bounce around like a bouncy ball. So pick a topic. If you have to, look through different YouTube videos, see what some of the more popular topics are. Some it's gaming, others it's travel. Um, some others it can be nature, music, things like that. And then just kind of like try, your, try to focus your videos as much as possible with those particular topics. You can have a main topic, and you can have a subtopic as well because sometimes having one main topic will get boring. And then if you have a subtopic, that subtopic, that subtopic, sorry, can be something that it will attract others. Whereas the main topic only attracted a certain audience, but the subtopic may attract the rest. And that may bring more traffic to your channel as well. And also picking a particular topic will indeed bring you a certain audience and that certain audience may be ones that they like travel and with those travel folks they may watch your videos mainly to see things that you do when you go certain places and they may think hmm maybe I want to try that when I go to those places and that could help to bring up your audience as well for me my channel has a breakdown of three different things it's k-pop travel and sort of like I guess you call them let's we call them let's chats and 
The let's chats are like a generalized thing or discussion because in those I discuss things such as like my favorite things or um, just like life advice or it's also where I give reviews of products I've tried such as the uh, Kenko review. Kenko was the company that makes the smoothie powder and if you would like to see that video I will put the link up in the top as well as in the description down below and you can check out that from one of my let's chats. As far as the travels go for my channel, it's literally just different places I've been around within the states. Um, think places like Las Vegas or New York, different things that you can do in those different cities as well. There's also a video for that too. And that one, it's um, my favorite places I've been around the United States. As far as K-pop is concerned, I do unboxings of K-pop merchandise. I've been to K-pop concerts. I went to five concerts this particular summer and I tried to vlog a little bit each time I went to each concert. So things like that. It's a, for me, it's three different breakdown of things. For those that are K-pop fans, which a lot of my videos dedicated towards K-pop stuff tends to gain a little bit more traction because a lot of uh, my viewers do like K-pop uh, travel as well as, like I said, the Let's Chats, which is like a generalized topic. So the next thing, keep your intro short. I have learned this because when I first did my intro, I did have a short introduction. Then I changed it because there was a particular song that I wanted to use and my intro ended up being like a minute long, but those particular videos got almost no views on them. But when I went back after getting advice on how to shorten my video uh, introduction, then I started noticing the attention to the video, retention was a lot better. So keep it short. If you can, most people probably recommend keeping your intro about eight seconds. I know for a fact mine ranges to about, I think 19 seconds at that, but just something to like get your audience like coming to your video and wanting to stay. Don't make it too long to the point where it's almost like it should have been the video itself versus being just your introduction. So next up, write an engaging title. You can kind of consider this as like do a clickbait title, but you want something that your audience is gonna say, oh, huh, let me click on this and see what they're talking about. Some of the titles I've seen, and this is based on the, the YouTubers that I follow. There's a YouTuber in, I think she's, she's back home now where she was from, but she was in China for the longest time. And her video clickbait would be something like, black girl gets her hair done in China and this happened. And basically you would have to click the video to see what she meant by that and see what the result of, of getting her hair done in China was like. Something like that, something clickbait where it'll make your audience click on the video in order to kind of see what, you're wanna, what you want to talk about. And depending on the topic, that may get them to stay with the video and watch it all the way through. Because based on the analytics of my own videos and what I've seen, people will literally watch maybe like the first 30 to 45 seconds of a video and they'll click off and go to the next thing. That's literally what I've seen based on my own analytics. Obviously, other channels are gonna be a lot different it all depends again on what your topic is. For instance, if you have a gaming channel, people may watch it all the way through just because they like video games. If it's uh, travel, if you go someplace interesting, like say somewhere in Europe, and it's a city or a country that people have either very rarely been to or they've never heard of, they may possibly watch that video all the way through just to see what it's like from your perspective of being there because they've never been or they've never heard of it and they find it interesting. So clickbait, uh, but yeah, pretty much engaging clickbait titles is the third thing. Next thing, promote yourself. You want to be sure to promote yourself because if you do nothing with your channel and just expect it to grow on its own, it's not gonna do anything. You literally have to promote yourself. Paying to promote is okay if you choose to. It does not always work. It all depends on the person, their channel, and what their topic is on their channel. 
So promoting yourself. For me personally, Twitter has worked out the best for me when it comes to uh, self-promotion because I have a lot of people that I interact with on my Twitter and there's a lot of pages that help by retweeting my channel link so that it gets out there to other, for others to see. And whenever I do put my channel link up, I'll always make sure I put like a miniature description of what my channel is like. So that way when they click the link, they automatically know, okay, this is what to expect. Because there's a lot of people that like travel. There's a lot of people that like just generalized topics. There's a lot of people that like K-pop. There's a lot of people that don't like K-pop. There's a lot of people that don't really care about travel, but they may find the interest in the general chats for the Let's Chat. So something like that, at least it gives you like an idea because someone did say to me, I went to your channel, but I don't understand what your channel is supposed to be about. So me having that little breakdown also helps. Plus, uh, it kind of gives you a heads up. So if you love K-pop, my channel, you can go to my channel and just see the different things I do for K-pop. Again, I do unboxings, I do discussions, and I've been to concerts. My most recent one was a uh, weekend in my life when I went to Los Angeles and I saw Stray Kids in Inglewood. So um, that's that. So please, regardless of how you think your channel will or won't grow, always promote it. Promote it on your Twitter, promote it on your Instagram, your Facebook, whatever major social media platform that you use. Have your friends share your link. Have them share your videos. That way you can get out there and get more traffic in. One of my uh, friends recently tried something different. He actually had cards made, business cards made, that had his YouTube uh, name and channel link on there. And he took them and put them in different stores. And that got him a little bit of outside traffic outside of social media. So there's another idea too. Promote yourself because if you don't, then who will? How will people know about your channel? And my last and final thing, just be yourself and have fun. If it's one thing that I've come to notice for the amount of time that I spend watching YouTube videos is I can tell by now who's real in their videos and who's fake. And the ones that are fake, you don't notice it offhand at first unless you really know people's personalities or you know the YouTubers personally. But when you really get to watching their videos and then you really get to watching how they interact with each other or how they interact with other people that they don't know, are you strangers? Or how they handle certain situations when they're making their videos. You can tell if that's their real personality or not and people are not going to be attracted to that because if they see you one way and then if they meet you in person they're like you're not the same way that you are when you're in your videos you're a whole completely different person you're mean or you're rude or this or that that's going to turn people off so be yourself just be yourself have fun because the more people see the true you in your videos it makes it that much better that if you do get the opportunity when you get bigger that you can do say a fan sign or a fan meet people know they're going to meet a humble person they're going to meet a fun person they're going to meet someone that they like the personality of that person because they know you already based on what they've seen in your video so just be yourself have fun with your videos the more you get into making videos the more fun it's going to be because when i first started my reason for starting YouTube was completely different than what I do now. It wasn't that fun at first. At first for me, it was just something to use as a distraction because of something I was going through at the time. But now I have so much fun with editing my videos. I just enjoy it. I'm always trying something new. I'm trying different music. I'm always trying with like different effects and things like that. But the more you have fun with it, the better you're going to get. It seems a little discouraging sometimes with how slow a channel can grow, but you just gotta keep at it. The only other thing I can add as far as having fun with it and promoting your video, set a schedule. Set a schedule. More people tend to be able to watch videos, I believe in the morning. There is a way that YouTube can help you out as far as trying to um, see when the best time to release videos would be for you. 
For me, I release videos every Monday and every Saturday at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And that way it's in the morning, it's first thing in the morning and people actually are able to watch that, whether they watch it, you know, first thing in the morning when it comes out or if they happen to see it throughout the day or whatever it may be. But set a schedule because when you set a schedule, it means your viewers are expecting to see a video at set time and they know that when they see that vid that time, that time comes, that your video will be out and it gives them something else to watch on your channel. But other than that, please, my small YouTubers, please don't be discouraged. I know it starts off hard, but you know what? Everybody has to start from somewhere. Everyone's got to start from somewhere. Everyone has to work their way up from the bottom. Things do not come easy. You literally have to work for it. But you know what? In the end, I promise it's going to be worth it because I am still working on my channel. I'm working on growing my community. I'm working on welcoming more loyal royals to my channel. If you would like to be a loyal royal, please make sure you go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Please like this video, share it with others. Please y'all, please support the small YouTubers. All of us are on a journey with the same dream to become a bigger and better channel. So please, please, please definitely support small YouTubers. Just help each other out, support each other, subscribe to each other's channels, go and leave some comments and just again, have fun with it. And if you want, change it up a little bit. Again, when it comes down to topics, just try different things, experiment. But really, all in all, have fun. Again, that is it. Please make sure you subscribe, like this video, share it with a friend. Please support my channel. Hit the subscribe button. Become a loyal royal. Go follow me on Twitter at DragonPink07. Support all of our fellow small YouTubers. Help their channels to grow as well. Other than that, I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Yeah, I never say.